Hey everybody, it's Gregory Rice. We're here at Nexus Property Management's headquarters in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and we'd like to welcome you to the first part of our four-part series on buying your first investment property. Now, congratulations to you because buying a rental property is the single best financial decision you will ever make in your entire life. So what we're gonna do now is jump right in and I'm gonna tell you the top three reasons as to why rental property is for you, okay? Reason number one, the most important here is you're establishing a monthly revenue stream. Think about it. You're currently working at your job and you've hit a ceiling. I know that I have, and if it wasn't for the rental property, I would be stuck, okay? So what this does is it supplements your income and gives you additional monies that you can count on and invest moving forward, okay? Benefit number two here is you're gaining valuable tax incentives. So look at it this way. You're paying down your debt with collected monies from the tenants. So at the end of the year, when you file your tax return, you're paying down mortgage interest, taxes, insurance, water bills, sewer bills with the tenant's money, but it's reducing your taxable income. Crazy, right? Reason number three here, of many of course, is that you're getting to leverage this property in the future. And what I mean by that is this. Say you buy that property for $200,000. In 10 years, it may be worth $300,000, okay? And you've just gained $100,000 in equity, okay? While paying down your debt with the tenant's money, okay? So with that equity, you can take it out as cash or you can sell the property if you want. So you have many, many options with real estate. So what we're gonna do right now is jump in it and I'm gonna show you our invest calculator. Now what this is, is a tool that we've created based on investors' needs for assessing potential properties. So it looks at your expenses, your income, and gives you a projected, estimated return on investment, okay? ROI is different from cap rate because cap rate does not incorporate what your down payment is. And that down payment, as a first time investor, must be accounted for. So you're gonna use our calculator anytime you want by going to our website, nexuspropertymanagement.com and click the tools tab. But right now I wanna jump right in and show you a potential assessment for a four family building worth $200,000. Okay, so here we are in the property investment calculator. This is a tool that we have built from scratch, okay? Start to finish, we touched it all. And we've built this based on investors' actual needs, okay? We've lived it. We know exactly what you will need and what you don't need. Now, this is a return on investment calculator. This is not a cap rate, okay? A cap rate does not incorporate how much down payment you are putting towards the investment, but a return on investment like our calculator does. So we highly suggest that you use this calculator and the link is embedded in this video below. It's a free tool, so we highly, highly, highly recommend that you take advantage of it. So what we'll do now is we'll pop on down each field here and punch in a sample property and see what our results are. So you get to see this tool in action and how easy and effective it truly is. So first things first, we're gonna enter in our email. Next up is the property name, the street address. So we'll just go ahead and put 100 Main Street in Woonsocket. That's here in Rhode Island. And the purchase price for this example, we're gonna go ahead and, and put 200,000. Okay, that's 50,000 per unit. We're talking about a four family property here. And the down payment will vary depending on which type of bank or credit union you're going with. Now, the credit unions in Rhode Island, we've seen do 20% down payments. Now, that's very favorable to you because if you're putting down a standard 25%, that would be an extra $10,000 you'd have to come up with for the price of this property. So if you need a network referral, feel free to reach out to us and we'll put you in touch with our trusted bankers. 
So that's forty thousand dollars, okay, as the down payment, a hundred and sixty thousand dollar loan amount. And we're gonna move down now to the income section. This is a four unit building, so for simplicity purposes, we're going to say that each unit is getting eight seventy five. Now with the four unit buildings, they were formerly two and three bedroom units, but most of them here in New England were split in half to four units after the war to accommodate for the soldiers returning home. So a lot of them are now one bedroom and studio apartments, which is great because you have less people, okay, and less maintenance to deal with, and overall a smaller size unit when it comes time for turnover. So it's a great feature to get these four units. They're very unique, compact, and efficient. So the total rent here is about 3,500 per month. That's a nice even $42,000 Per year okay so we'll move on down to the monthly expenses for the mortgage payment here we've built in a calculator so you can go ahead and click that and what you'll see here is the loan amount we're working with which is 160 and the loan term in years you're going to have to enter yourself so like I said the banks the credit unions will all have their specific details on what they want but what we've seen from the credit unions is if you're putting down that 20%, they're going to ask for a 25 year term. If you're putting down 25% with a big box bank, they'll probably give you 30 years. So that's something that you can play with. You can fill out this form as many times as you want to see what the potential result will be. But go ahead, we'll enter 25 now, and the interest rate at the moment is about 5% with somebody with 720 above credit. So once we enter that, we click Submit, and our principal and interest payment will automatically get generated. So you can see that's about 935 bucks. What we'll do next here is our insurance monthly payment. Now insurance, general rule of thumb, is about 1% of the purchase price. So this is for your yearly insurance. So we're purchasing a $200,000 property, 1% of that is 2000 so we're looking at about $165, give or take, per month for insurance. Now, this is definitely just a guesstimate. You want to speak to a trusted insurance professional to get an exact quote. And if you need a referral, once again, just reach out to us and we'll happily recommend you somebody. So the management fee will automatically get created based on our total monthly rent up above. Now, 8% is our standard. However, once you get seven to 35 units with us, that drops down to 7%, okay? But for now, we'll leave it at 8% and we'll move over to our taxes. Now, taxes will also vary depending on what locale you're in, what state, what the conditions are in that market, which I don't know. So what we're going to do now is just put a nice ballpark of a common number that we've seen frequently. And what that is, is about $100 per apartment per month, okay? So in this case, $400 per month. Now for utilities, this will also vary depending on the property, but in most circumstances, the tenants are paying their heating and their electric and hot water, okay? It's separately metered. They have their own utilities to pay for. The only thing the homeowner is paying for is the water, the sewer, and the common area electric. Now, just to be safe, we're gonna say water and sewer is about $200 per month, and that common area electric bill is about $50 per month. So we'll go ahead and we'll put 250. So now our total monthly expenses, our total nut to crack is about $2,000, give or take, okay? So we'll move on down. Our yearly expenses are broken down and what we want to do now is click this calculate button. Now it's going to pop up top there. Your results are ready. Click generate PDF to download. So here we go and bang, look at that. $1,469 per month in profit. That's a 44.07% ROI. Where are you going to find that? The answer is nowheresville, okay? You're never going to find it. That's right, you're not going to find numbers like that anywhere like you will with real estate, okay? So if you wanna use our invest calculator, 
It's yours for the taking at any time. Just go to nexuspropertymanagement.com and click the tools tab. And don't forget, we want to hear from you, okay? So if you have any suggestions, ideas for videos, just post a comment below and we'll take care of you. So stick around. Part two of our series, Buying Your First Investment Property, is coming up next. And this is Gregory at Nexus Property Management, your property managed.